Alright, what's up everybody? Another day, another video tour. If you guys are just tuning in for the first time, I'm Chuck It's Cruiswell with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor. As you can see, out in the distance here, we got the Las Vegas Strip. So today we are here in the city of Las Vegas on the west side of the Las Vegas Valley in this beautiful mass plan community called Summerlin. Now within this mass plan community, we have a new village, which is a Red Point Square. Okay. Now the name of this neighborhood, okay, is a scent by KB Homes. Okay. Now we're gonna be taking a look at these modern townhomes. Okay. Now this modern townhome right here, this unit that we're gonna be exploring is a two-story unit. Okay. Now this unit right here is an end cap and is 1748 square feet now keep in mind this could also be an interior unit too as well what I mean by the interior units means that you don't have a home on the end of the caps right so they're in the inside here now for me as far as for value wise I would rather have it on the end cap but you are definitely going to be paying a premium so this one is a three bedrooms two and a half bathrooms two car garage the base price the starting price is three hundred and thirty eight thirty four thousand three hundred thirty four thousand nine hundred and ninety dollars as you can see we have a beautiful courtyard here okay also one thing that you're gonna be paying for too is as far as like the elevation on the exterior of the building okay Pavers right here are going to be included. Okay, you do have a 10-year uh, warranty with this builder, and it should also be transferable too as well. Now coming straight in to this home, oh, I love how wide this thing is. Great design. Open floor plan, nine-foot ceilings on here. Okay. Now they have 137 lots to pick and choose from. HOAs are going to be $102 a month with the master plan. $48 a month. Six lots have been sold. Okay. We're going to start off in the beginning here. Love these windows right here. These are the low E windows. Orange peel texture. And you have your modern straight edge cornering here. So the baseboards that you do see here are going to be an upgrade on the baseboards here. Okay. And also on the flooring too as well. The flooring is going to come with the standard 17 by 17 porcelain tile. Believe it or not, they're the tiles are very beautiful, okay? Here's your half bath right here with the pedestal sink here. And you got your low E, I mean, um, low flush for your toilet. Beautiful open floor plan. I'm going to say this is pretty pretty gorgeous, I'm going to say, for a town home, okay? Now let's take a look. We're going to look on this side here. I'm going to just, I'm just come, I'm going to just come right here and just sit down. Oh, kind of give you a feel. See, this is what it feels like. You just sit down right here chilling. I mean, the TV's off to a distance a little bit, but I mean, I think that is okay, right? You got your thermostat right here. It's very odd that the thermostat is right there. Typically, they would have the thermostat right next to um, the return line. Two panel doors here. You do have an option to do a two panel door or a six panel door. I prefer a two panel door. It looks more custom, but it is not insulated, right? Okay. The hardware you, you see here is going to be an upgrade. This is a brushed nickel. Okay, you have a two inch on the casing here. You have storage underneath the staircase, and this is definitely ample storage. I'd probably add one more light here. Guys, lighting is such a big deal. Okay, looks like they did some upgrades on the surround sounds. Okay, so you don't have to do this now. Let's take a look at this island. This is a beautiful island. Okay, this is like a level seven on the countertops. Now, a couple things I want to talk about with this island here, okay, with this quartz. This island, boom, cuts down the middle right about here. All this is gone. You do not get a waterfall. It's going to be granite. So you would have to do an upgrade, okay, and also you're going to get your waterfall. Now, keep in mind, when you do your waterfall edge, okay, I typically like to make sure it's two inches because if you do a half an inch, it's not that stable. Also, I notice on this spec right here, to have this as, as far as a true custom, it should have been one slab. They cut it as a 45 and they fold it on over. They didn't do this on here. These are two different slabs, okay? Now, they did it on this one. As you can see, look at this transition, right? Transition. See that? Again, look at this transition. 
Look, so they did that correctly. On this one, nope. Two different slabs, completely. That's just attention to detail. I mean, it depends if you, you want to be, you know, how strict you want to get with it, I guess, or how anal you are with things, right? For me, I just like things to be done custom in the right way. Also, one thing I've noticed too is that if you're a builder out there, okay, or a cabinet maker, take a look at this. Once you see under here, this is actually the true color of the cabinet. And it's like, when you come down here, you can see that it's such an eyesore. Why, why not just paint this underneath here to give that just extra touch of custom? I mean, take a look at that. You can see underneath there, right? Let me know in the comments below. Now, in this one right here, this is a 36-inch Whirlpool Cook countertop. This would be an upgrade, okay? You typically get a slide-in stove that goes here, okay? Stainless steel. Now, these ones right here... Okay, it's always best to get some handles. If not, you're always gonna scuff this. 42 upper cabinet cabinets standard, but not these colors. This is gonna be an upgrade. You do have that two and a half inch crown too as well, that's standard, but you do get the six inch backsplash. Okay. Here's the standard dishwasher. You got the dual basin, undermounted sink, stainless steel. Okay, but now you have the brush nickel mowing. Okay. Now, with this builder, they have an option when you go in and close, right? When you're doing your orientation, a third party company will come out here to add an RO system. They will drill a hole for free, but when they come on out here, they're going to try to sell you on that system. Okay? Let's take a look at this closet here. This would be your pantry. Okay? Pantry is not bad. Now, here's your laundry room. The laundry room here. This would not be here. You'd have a chicken wire or a piece of wood that goes all the way across, okay? It is a gas dryer. Now, we're going to come upstairs. Now, on this banister, you're just going to have just your regular railings that go down, and it's going to be a white, and that's going to be standard. This would be an option that you can pick and choose from. So we're going to come upstairs here. It seems like we have probably about nine stairs before we come up to a landing. Then we have three more stairs that come up, okay, till we hit the main second floor here. Now, these are eight feet on the second floor on the ceiling heights, okay? Let's take a look here what we have. Closet space, okay. Now, one thing I want you to do is, how do you know a quality build for a builder? It's for all builders, okay? Look at their models. See how they do it. And that sets the tone and the expectation. It's okay. You have 12 by 24 on the tile here. This is not a standard tub shower combo, four piece fiberglass. Standard. Okay. You have the brush nickel hardware here. This is all an upgrade. You do have an option to pick and choose from. Now, on this spec right here, you get one sink. Then what happens is you get like this long bench here where you can kind of like sit down, pull up a chair. This is something that I would highly recommend that you do for a resale value and also raise this up to 36 inches, okay? I'd probably keep this standard too as well with this Petrophenia, okay? Uh, typically people will try to match the uh, cabinets and also the, um, uh, what do you call the, the countertops in the bathrooms. That's more of a custom home, but at this price point, I would not do that whatsoever, okay? Another thing I want you to understand that if you did the upgrades on the cabinets, does that mean all the cabinets get upgraded too as well? And does that uh, vanity go from 30 to 36? Because it depends on which builder they may charge you. I'm starting to like these um, walls where they paint them black, okay? I think it's kind of cool. Now this one is actually has a semi-gloss. I prefer a flat black. Now, a lot of these uh, paint now that they're making, okay, some paint, especially on the exterior now, okay, is more energy efficient where it absorbs the heat, okay. Now, I believe with uh, KB Homes does come with a radiant barrier too as well, okay. And insulation on here is R30 inside the attics. I'm not too sure with these townhomes if you can actually do a upgrade, Okay.
this looks like a standard room here. Eight, I'm sorry, uh, 10 by 11 or 10 by 10. Now, I love the fact that they do have a, a jumper duck here versus a transfer grill. A transfer duck, this takes the air and the hot air directly into the unit versus it sucking it through this wall here, then taking it to that um, return. So we got some pantry. Okay. No, I'm sorry. Pantry. You big dummy. We ain't in the kitchen, fool. Look, guys, I understand if you don't want me to, you don't want to use me as your realtor. You know, sometimes I mess up on these videos, okay? I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect whatsoever, okay? I'm just your average dude that works hard, okay? And just just trying to do the right thing. But you know what? I'm also trying to have some fun too as well, okay? I'm not perfect. I don't know the answers. But the good news is I know where to get the answers, okay? And also, the other thing is that one thing I want to mention, some of you guys have been calling my office, okay, and you guys are speaking to somebody, and they are asking, hey, do you work with Chuckets? And sometimes I know you guys want to work with me, but make sure these people are actually on my team, because uh, we are all independent contractors, which means you're in a business where it's feasts or famine, Okay. This one right here would be an upgrade. You have a um, tub shower combo, uh, I believe, for an option. Uh, this right here is an upgrade. You have a fiberglass uh, floor pan. But what I was getting back to is that we are all independent contractors that hang our license with Simply Vegas. So if you happen to land on any website and next thing you know it, you get a call from that website, right? Because that, that's the business that we're in, right? We generate leads. That's how we generate leads, right? And you're like, oh, you're with Simply Vegas. Do you work with Chuckets? If that agent says yes, they do work with me. Do they work for me? Are they a part of my team? No. That's where you want to clarify it. So if you want to work with me and my team directly, make sure to clarify it, okay? And also, you guys can also give me a call too as well. Okay. Now, if you're like, hey, Chuck, I want to work with you directly, that's completely fine. But I want you to understand one thing, though. Okay. We are very, very busy. Okay. And I'm very blessed and I do appreciate it and I'm totally aware of it. Now, that being said, is if you want to work with me and the team directly, we are willing to roll out the red carpet and hustle our butts off for you guys. Okay. But there's certain things that do apply. You, if you guys are financing, you have to be approved and ready to go. That's like one of the main and most important things. Because if we don't have an approval letter, what are we looking at? Okay. And sometimes I get calls where, hey, I am approved. I know you guys are approved. I can just tell by the conversations that we have. But unfortunately, the average day is on the market right now for a home. It's like less than like 17 days. Things are moving so fast. By the time we go out and get financing because we find a home that you like, that home is gone. Not only that, a lot of things that I do run into, and this could happen. Look, I have a client that approved. We just did a deal for $3 million. You know what? I knew he was approved. Didn't want to do the homework up front. Guess what? We had to prolong the escrow, okay? We were in jeopardy of losing $100,000. The seller could literally just say, hey, I'm not moving forward. You breached the contract. I'm keeping $100,000. But we were still able to negotiate the deal, right? to justify and explain to the seller that there's nothing wrong with our finance. We just need to turn in some more pieces of paperwork, right? Which is we did and we got the deal closed. But here's the thing. What you learn about this is that the seller, I'm sorry, the buyer had to go through the whole process and stress out on it. $100,000 is a lot of money, folks. That's why it's so important. Do your homework all up front, okay, guys? If you guys have not had a chance to subscribe to this channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck. It's Bruce Walt with Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day.